Hello, hello my lovelies and welcome to this week's episode. Well that was a very dramatic start wasn't it? But uh, such a car deserves such a dramatic start to compensate for the lack of sound when you do actually start it. <laughs> I have finally got round to doing a video in Tesla and which better model, what better model, to start with than a Model S. Motherfuckers! I love the doors. The doors for me are the main feature of this car because it that's what makes it stand out from the rest, right? That's, that's the difference those bloody doors at the back oh they're so sexy um it took me a minute to figure out how to open the doors the key isn't uh, <laughs> isn't exactly very helpful i was a little bit uh nervous because i know nothing about this car whatsoever um i know that it's very fast i know that it's very silent i know that you can supercharge it in an hour from empty to full but you shouldn't do that very often because it can mess with the battery's life um, a full charge on a normal charger that you may have at home would be uh, around 20 hours apparently uh, this car in particular belongs to a friend of mine who uses it as an everyday car it is a six seater now the car I had before was the complete opposite, so still very fast, but was a petrol guzzler. <laughs> I'm not too sure what happened to him for him to have such a drastic changeover, but here we are, and thank God he did, because now I get to drive it. Bear in mind, like I said, this is the first time that I'm driving one. Um, you've got the typical um, jerk when, the way I drive, I take my foot straight off the accelerator very abruptly and you feel that mm, you know mm. but you just need to get used to it i had i said this to you guys when i drove that uh the e-pace the jaguar last year i think it was with justin uh but the whole layout of the car i, I was quite nervous like i said when i when i first got in the car because i was handed the key and i just thought fuck am I going to start like I don't even know how to start it and I was reading into it too much when it was just it was just logic like the key has a couple of buttons just keep your finger on them and some doors eventually open um so yeah I I thought it was more futuristic than it is it's still quite user-friendly <laughs> which is a good thing because you guys know how bad I am with technology the windscreen it reminds me of a guy with receding hairline in a good way not that there's a good way for a guy to have receding hairline but there is for this car because it gives you this beautiful super super wide um windscreen the visibility in this car is crazy like there's no blind spots there's no you know a pillar or b pillar kind of in your way it, it's it's lovely to drive it really is and because of the type of car it is you can use it every day if you don't have a very very long commute i mean still from with a, a full charge you can do 320 um kilometers which is still a lot i mean yeah that that would do me i don't know a week i'm guessing i could i could get away with not having to charge it the only issue is same as always the charging point where do you charge it at the moment i think Tesla's and all plug-in electrical vehicles are it's not so much the cost of it the cost of actually buying it but it's I couldn't have one for example I could afford one on finance but I couldn't have one because of where I live I don't have underground parking I don't have access to a charging point where my office is we have street parking also there's nowhere around there at the moment here in Marbella You'd have to go to El Corte Inglés, which is our big shopping centre. Uh, La Cañada, which is another shopping centre. They have um, plug-in EV points. Some of the underground car parks are slowly bring them in now. Hotels are. But, I mean, <laughs> it's not viable for every day. And it's so annoying because... Because it's super cool. And it's super quick. And I think Justin should buy one. <laughs> Now, us petrol heads are all reluctant 
we're all reluctant to to go ev but we're gonna have to i mean just look at the way that everything's going we're just gonna have to deal with it and miss the sound but you know radio on i guess and just use evs as everyday cars it's 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 the inevitable future she says as a bun tiger drives in the other direction <laughs> Am I ready for an EV yet? Like I said, no, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to charge it anyway. But the features are just another level. So a friend of mine has, um, has one also back in the UK and he was over here this summer and he was showing me, he's like, look, just on the app on his phone, just on the app, he was showing me how, um, how he can, he can check everything. So he can check if it's charging, if it's not, the temperature, um, oh, just everything. The location of the car, you can preheat the car. So if it's winter, cold winter, where you guys live, you can preheat the car for when you get in it. Oh my God, the amount of features you just can't get on, on a normal, in a normal car, right? In a normal electrical car, um, a normal combustion car. So that's one of the benefits. Also, like I said, super fast and you don't expect it because you put your foot down and there's no dropping of the gears, revs, nothing happens. You just put your foot down and she goes like crazy, right? But it can be used as an everyday car. It can also put a smile on your face. It's a six seater. It looks sexy. There's pros all around. If it just had some sound to it, <laughs> she would have me. Just had some sound. That's all I need. Don't know the horsepower on her. Is it even horsepower? Do you even classify it still as horsepower? Anyway, you know what I mean. I don't know the power on it. It's really fast. If you need to know the power, I'm sure there's other videos that are a lot more detailed than this one. You guys don't come to me for the detail. You come to me for the driving experience. All in all, the layout, again, really, really user-friendly. The screen does what it says. So I can easily see here, you know, if I need to go to um, the aircon, for example, or I need the music or the, but it's just easy. It's just all there in this massive touch screen in the middle. Um, but then in front of you, surprisingly enough, it's all very normal. So it feels like a normal car, as in, I knew where the indicators were. It's more complicated on a 458 to find the indicators than it is in this car. I was expecting there to be, you know, touch buttons or for it to automatically read your mind <laughs> where you want to go and activate the, uh, the indicator. But thankfully it's not. And I've still got the information that I like to have. So I've still got um, how much charge it has, what I'm using at the moment, what the time is, what the temperature is outside, what music is playing. It's all in front of you. You've got the um, um, speed limit the, of the current road that you're on. It's that I like because it's not throwing me into this whoa, futuristic world. If I look at that, the steering wheel still has a rolly um, button for the temperature. I can figure it out, which I like. <laughs> Now this particular one my friend has done quite a bit to us so uh, she's all black he's blacked her out now this is in person the most um, sporty looking I guess aggressive looking uh, Model X that I've seen and he's also changed the leather so the leather I believe I don't know if it's an option or if they all come with vegan leather but he's changed it for this amazing oh, it's so soft it's so soft. I can't compare it to the original leather because like I said, I, didn't, I haven't touched it, I haven't felt it. But um, yeah, he's pimped it up a bit, put the yellow seat belts on. And yeah, she's very cool. She's very cool. I'm not so apprehensive now about the future of cars. I'm more apprehensive about the future of human race, humanity, and, uh, and the shit show that we have going, <laughs> going on currently because of people, because of humans, but not because of the way cars are going. So there we go. Um, I hope to get some, some of the other Teslas on. So we've got what, Model S and a Model 3, I think are the other models on the market now, right? So let's try and get those on and, uh, and see how they compare. This perfect for everyday family. It's a super, super cool car and uh, time to hand her back. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.